All right, class, this is the last chapter. Did a good job the whole semester, so let's end with psychiatry. So you should know the difference between a psychiatrist, a psychologist, and other mental specialists. Uh, learn of tests used by clinical psychologists to evaluate patients' mental health and intelligence, and define terms that describe major psychiatric disorders. Identify terms that describe psychiatric symptoms, compare different types of therapy for psychiatric disorders, learn the categories and names of common psychiatric drugs, define combining forms, apply your knowledge to understanding of medical terms. All right. So psychiatry is the branch of medicine that deals with the diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of mental illness. There's a psychiatrist, a psychologist, and a clinical psychologist. So what's the difference between a psychologist and a clinical psychologist? And what's the healthcare that have an MD degree? So the MD degree are the psychiatrists. Okay, so the MD degree are the psychiatrists. The difference between a psychologist and a clinical psychologist is that a psychologist is a non-medical person who is trained in methods of psychotherapy, analysis, and research. He or she completes a master's or usually a PhD degree in a specific field of interest. A clinical psychologist is trained in the use of tests to evaluate various aspects of patients' mental health and intelligence. Uh, tools used by psychiatrists, uh, psychotherapy, psychoanalysis, drug therapy. Um, tools used by clinical psychologists are psychotherapy, psychoanalysis, intelligent test, mental processing test, memory tests, personality tests. So what are some of the intelligent tests? Well, there's the IQ test, right? Wechsler Adult Scale, the WAIS. W -A -I -S. Uh, there's the Stanford Binet Intelligent Test. And then, of course, there's some personality tests you can do. There's the Rorschach technique, uh, ink blots, uh, thermatic apparition test, TAT, um, in which the pictures are used as stimuli for making up stories, right? So both tests are especially revealing uh, for personality structures. Uh, Sigmund Freud and personality structure, there's the id, the ego, and the superego, um, okay? Okay. Um, the ego, it's the central corning branch of the personality. It's the mediator between the id and the outside world. You don't really have to go too much into it. I just wanted to kind of uh, bring that up. Uh, we do want to uh, categorize some of these uh, anxiety disorders, bipolar disorders, depressive disorders, dissociative disorders, eating disorders, and neurocognitive disorders. So Mitch, make sure you know uh, an example of each one. So some of the eating disorders predominantly affect adolescent females are anorexia and bulimia. Okay. And then there's bipolar and depressive disorders, bipolar disorders, uh, cyclothymic disorder, which is a milder form of bipolar disorder, uh, characterized by at least two years of hypomania and numerous depressive episodes. Okay. Um, so anxiety disorders, let's talk about those. There's a, characterized by unpleasant tension, distress, trouble feelings, and avoidance behavior. So you have phobic disorders such as agoraphobia, acrophobia, claustrophobia, zoophobia, uh, you have OCD, which is obsessive compulsive disorder, recurrent thoughts, repetitive acts, rituals. You have PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress, stress disorder, fear, helplessness, insomnia. And then you have GAD, generalized anxiety disorder, which is chronic anxiety, exaggerated worry, and tension, you know, if there's little or nothing to provoke such feelings. Um, Prolonged emotion that dominate a person's entire mental life, uh, bipolar, alternating between manic and depressive. Uh, make sure you know what a cyclothymic disorder is. That's a mild bipolar with at least two years of hypomania and numerous depressive episodes. Depressive disorder, major depression, severe dysphoria. Uh, prolonged emotion that dominates a person's entire mental life. You have depressive disorder, major depression, uh, dysthymic disorder, and then seasonal affective disorder. So make sure you know what categories are in each one. So you have the bipolar disorders, you have the depressive, and then you have dissociative. So knowing which ones belong to which ones. Uh, so major depression involves episodes of dysphoria, which is sadness, hopelessness, um, worry, discouragement. 
and depression also has other symptoms including appetite disturbances, uh, weight sleep, fatigue, sense of worthlessness, hopelessness, inappropriate guilt, difficulty thinking, concentrating, thoughts of death, suicide. Dysthymia is a depressive disorder involving a depressed mood that persists over a two-year period uh, but it's not as severe as major depression. And seasonal affective disorder is a regular appearance of depression during low light periods of the year, lasting roughly 60 days. Uh, so in the U.S. that would be around October or November every year. Dissociative disorders, chronic or sudden disturbances of memory, identity, consciousness, or perception of the environment not caused by brain damage or drugs. Uh, dissociative identity disorder, two personalities take over. Dissociative amnesia, memory loss of personal information. Dissociative fugue, sudden unexpected travel. Uh, so the two literally figures represent dissociative identity disorder. That's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Uh, what does fugue mean? Uh, flight. The fugue disorder includes the assumption of a new identity and inability to recall one's previous identity. Uh, make sure you know the difference between anorexia and bulimia. So anorexia, anorexia nervosa, refusal to maintain body weight, conscious relentlessness, attempt to diet, excessive overactivity, and exercise. Bulimia is you binge and purge eating using vomiting and misuse. So in anorexia, they don't eat. Bulimia, they eat, but then they purge afterwards. Disorders of abnormal uh, cognitive thinking, perception, reasoning, and judgment. You have delirium or delirious, um, mental confusion, incoherent speech, sensory misperception, disorientation, memory impairments. And then dementia is a gradual loss of intellectual abilities involving impairment of judgment, memory, abstract thinking, and personality. Um, so what delirium is caused by alcohol withdrawal? You get delirium tremens. Uh, what are some possible causes of these conditions? Uh, dementia is usually due to Alzheimer's, but it can also be due to uh, strokes uh, and infections, traumas, tumors, Parkinson's, and Huntington diseases. So dementia is usually uh, associated with Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Neurodevelopment disorders, you have intellectual disability, communication disorders, autistic spectrum, attention deficits, specific learning disorders, and motor disorders. Um, enduring pattern of thinking and behaving contrary to what is culturally acceptable. Uh, pervasive and inflexible, it has an onset in early adulthood and leads to distress or conflict with others. Personality disorders are divided into three cluster categories, so make sure you know these three cluster categories. Uh, cluster A, you get paranoid, schizoid, and schizotypal. Cluster B, antisocial, borderline, histrionic, and narcissistic. And then cluster C is avoidant, dependent, and obsessive compulsive. So you should know the um, definitions of schizoid, paranoid, uh, narcissistic, histrionic. Okay, now, schizophrenia and other psychotic disorders, chronic psychotic disorder characterized by disturbed thinking and disorganized speech, delusions, hallucinations, disorganized thinking, uh, abnormal motor behavior, negative symptoms, flat effect, unwillingness to in initiate purposeful activities. Um, so flat effect is marked by monotonous voice, immobile face, no signs of expression. Um, and there's different types of schizophrenia. There's catatonic, disorganized, and paranoid. Okay. And people that uh, smoke marijuana, they can become, they can have similar uh, hallucinations, delusions. Conversion disorder, repressed conflicts expressed or physical as physical symptoms. Uh, you have illness, anxiety disorder, preoccupation with having or acquiring a serious illness. Uh, one or more somatic symptoms that are distressed or result in significant disruption of daily life. Um, so conversion disorder is a person with repressed anger and desire to physically harm a family member may suddenly become, develop a paralysis of the arm. Um, so it's very interesting stuff, some of this stuff. Psychological dependence, compulsion to take a drug despite adverse consequences. Uh, physiological dependence and withdrawal from the drug is abruptly 
abruptly discontinued. And then tolerance, make sure you know what tolerance means, declining effect of drugs so that the dose must increase. Um, so what are some examples of substances that are associated with drug uh, abuse, right? So that's uh, alcohol, amphetamines, cannabis, marijuana, cocaine, hallucinogens, LSD, PCP, uh, heroin, morphine, all that stuff. Substances associated with abuse, I just mentioned all this, alcohol, amphetamines, cannabis, cocaine, hallucinogens. Now, how do you treat some of this? Uh, so therapeutic modalities, you can have psychotherapy, ECT, which is electroconvulsive therapy, and drug therapy. So ECT, uh, um, it's, it's a treatment in which electric current is applied to the brain while the patient is anesthetized, paralyzed, and being ventilated. This production produces these severe convulsions. Uh, it's used chiefly for serious depression and the depressive phase of bipolar disorder. Uh, with the introduction of antidepressant drug therapy, there are a few indications for ECT now, although it can be life-saving when a rapid response is necessary. So they used to use it back in the days a lot, but now they don't use it as much. Uh, now they rely on psychotherapy, such as cognitive behavior therapy, family therapy, group therapy, hypnosis insight-oriented uh, psychotherapy, play therapy, psychoanalysis, psych, uh, sex therapy, supportive psychotherapy. So play therapy is uh, interesting. They use it with uh, kids. Uh, through play, a child uses toys to express conflicts and feelings that he or she is unable to communicate in a direct manner. Uh, supportive psychotherapy is very uh, useful, offers encouragement, support, hope to patients facing difficult life transitions, events, uh, uh, death of a loved one. And hypnosis is interesting as a trance created to increase the speed of psychotherapy or to help recovery of deeply repressed memories. Uh, again, so here's drug therapies and specific drugs. You don't have to uh, 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 memorize this per se. Um, so anxiety disorders are panic disorders, phobic, upset, OCDs, post-traumatic uh, stress disorders, um, deliriums. Uh, eating disorder. So it's a good chart that kind of puts everything into perspective of what we talked about. Some of the neurodevelopment disorders are autism, spectrum disorders, Asperger's. So affect is external expression of emotion. Make sure you know the difference between affect because uh, a lot of times people spell it effect and effect is something else like how effective is this drug is that's effect. Affect is somebody's expression of emotion. So they have a flat affect. Uh, so make sure you know that. Uh, amnesia, loss of memory, anorexia nervosa, eating disorder with excessive dieting and refusal to maintain normal body weight. Anxiety disorders characterized by unpleasant tension, distress, and avoidance behavior. Apathy, um, absence of emotions, lack of interest, emotional involvement. Make sure you know what apathy means. Uh, versus empathy. So apathy is absence of emotions. Empathy is you have emotions towards somebody. So as a healthcare provider, you sh you're empathetic. You don't want to be apathetic. Okay, so make sure you know the difference. Autism, uh, neurodevelopment disorder characterized by inhibited social interaction, communication by restricted repetitive behavior. Uh, bipolar disorder, these disorders are marked by alternating periods of mania and depression. Bulimia, make sure you know bulimia versus anorexia. Uh, eating disorder with binge eating followed by vomiting, purging, and depression. Cannabis, substance from which marijuana is made. Compulsion, uncontrollable urge to perform an act repeatedly. Conversion disorder, condition marked by neurological symptoms with no organic basis, appearing as a result of anxiety and unconscious inner conflict. Uh, defense mechanisms, unconscious technique a person uses to resolve or conceal conflicts and anxiety. Delirium, acute episodes of confused thinking, disorientation, changes in alertness, difficulty paying attention, fearfulness, usually reversible. Uh, delusion, fixed false belief that cannot be changed by logical reasoning or evidence. Dementia, progressive loss of intellectual abilities with impairment of memory, judgment, and reasoning, as well as changes in personality. Uh, major psychiatric disorders with chronic sadness, loss of energy, helplessness, worry and discouragement, and commonly suicidal impulses and thoughts. Dissociative disorder, conditions involving breakdown in memory, identity, or perceptions. Ego, uh, central coordinating branch of personality or mind. Fugue, unconscious flight from customary surroundings. Gender identity disorder, strong and persistent cross-gender identification with the opposite sex that causes 
clinically significant distress, hallucinations, false sensory perception, id, major unconscious part of the personality, energy from instinctual drives and desires, labile, unstable, undergoing rapid emotional change, mania, elevated expansive state, euphoria with hyperactive talkativeness and racing thoughts, mutism, no or very little ability to speak, uh, neurodevelopment disorders, group of childhood disorders characterized by delays in socialization and communication, Obsession, involuntary, persistent idea, urge, or emotion. OCD, obsessive compulsive disorders. Anxiety disorder in which recurrent thoughts and repetitive acts of dominate behavior. Paranoia, overly suspicious system of thinking. Paraphilia, recurrent intense sexual urge, fantasy, or behavior that involves unusual objects, activities, or situations. Uh, personality disorders, lifelong personality patterns marked by impairment of social functioning. Phobia, irrational or disabling fear of an object or situation. PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Anxiety-related symptoms appear after personal experience of a traumatic uh, event. A lot of soldiers will get PTSD. Projective personality test, diagnostic personality test using stimuli to evoke responses that reflect aspects of an individual's personality. A psychiatrist, again, make sure you know what a psychiatrist is. That's a physician, MD, with medical training in the diagnosis, prevention, and treatment of mental disorders. A psychologist is a non-medical professional specializing in mental processes on how the brain functions in health and disease. So they usually have a PhD. Psychosis, a disorder marked by loss of contact with reality. Reality testing, psychological process that distinguishes fact from fantasy. Repression, defense mechanism by which unacceptable thoughts, feelings, and impulses are automatically pushed into the unconscious. Schizophrenia, chronic psychotic disorder that may include hallucinations, disorganized speech and behavior, flat effect, affect, and lack of initiative. Uh, sexual disorders, paraphilias, and sexual dysfunction. Somatic symptom disorders, presence of physical symptoms that cannot be explained by an actual physical disorder or other well-described mental disorder, and substance-related disorders are regular overuse of a, or dependence on psychoactive substances that affect the central nervous system, and a superego is internalized consciousness and moral part of the personality.